because I'm not allowing myself to become civilized. The worst thing that can happen to a man is become civilized. You lose that fucking fight. You, 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 you lose that. Why the fuck am I doing this shit? I'm good. You ain't good, man. You ain't never fucking arrived. And that's just my mentality. You may have more, but you never fucking arrived. You want to be uncommon amongst uncommon people. Period. Uncommon amongst uncommon people is one of the greatest ways to put it. That's it. Like, if you're, the, if, if, if you're like, for me, what, what got me in trouble with the Navy SEALs is I wanted to be one so bad. So bad. I fought my ass off. And I saw them as uncommon people. Very uncommon. But once you become a Navy SEAL, you're all Navy SEALs. So guess what happens? You're fucking common again. I wanted to be uncommon amongst uncommon people. I wanted to be the guy. I don't care if you fucking like me. I don't care if you don't understand me. I didn't give a fuck. Once I went through this fucking journey, this path of life, you ain't got to, and there's a whole bunch of fucking guys that don't fucking like me. I don't give a fuck. I'm a warrior. Period. There's a lot of guys that have been in a lot more combat than me. A warrior's not always that. A warrior's a motherfucker who says, hey, I'm here again today. I'm here again tomorrow. I'm going to be here the next day. I'm 50 years old. I'm still fucking getting after it. It's a person that puts no fucking limit on what's possible. And that's what got me in trouble a lot. That's why I went to Ranger School as a SEAL. That's why I tried to go to Delta Force twice. You know, I, I've, been, I've been through all these different training programs because I was looking for, in the military, what I saw is in the training, these people get their ass handed to them. After they get out, a lot of them get civilized. I always wanted to go back into training. No matter where I was at, I wanted to go back to war. And the war was in that training program where you see guys who can quit, guys who are brutal, guys who are suffering, guys who are, you go, so as a SEAL, you don't volunteer for ranger school. I did. I put in seven chits, got turned down, my eighth, you know, got accepted. I went at 28, 29 years old. And they go, why did you go? Because I started becoming civilized. I started becoming complacent. I, I, I needed to get my fucking ass kicked again. And when you go as a SEAL going down to, you have no rank in ranger school. You could be a major. You're just fucking Joe Brown. You're nobody. And you're not eating. You're not sleeping. So I always would put myself, I would immerse myself in shit like that. Even I would climb the ladder and I'd intentionally fall back down that motherfucker to say, all right, man, getting soft, dude. Getting soft. Kick your fucking ass again. And I, you know, it's kind of the process. Did you find resistance from that amongst other guys? That, that didn't like to make that you were making them uncomfortable because that is something that people There's a natural instinct that people have when someone's working harder than them to right. somehow or another diminish that person Well, I know that a lot of guys don't like me for a lot of reasons and I realize that I am a guy that doesn't care if you like me or not and um, when you're an alpha male and you're against other alpha males and we eat our own alpha males eat their own and I love that shit Let's fucking go, man. I want to eat. Hey, man, I'm all about that kind of mentality. But I would sometimes take it to another level. You know, I wasn't part of a, a, of a good old boy network. I didn't want to be part. Of, I, I wanted to be David fucking Goggins. I, for, for too long in my life, and it, and it got me in trouble. For too long in my life, I wanted to be accepted. Growing up, I lied. I fucking did what I could. For, if, if you fucking like UFC and I didn't, I love it. I love it, man. Let's go fucking watch it, man. Be my friend. Be my buddy. That fucking weak ass shit. I found out through this path of life, who is David Goggins? Who am I? So going through all, I did it alone. There was no fucking trophy on the fucking wall on the mantle. That trophy's in my fucking brain. No one helped me get there. No one paid my fucking bills. No one did shit for me. No, no, no one ran those fucking miles, lost that fucking weight, went through the, I suffered on my own and developed this man who said, it's who I am, man. A very competitive, ultra competitive dude that, take it what you want, man. I and, call that personal sovereignty. Exactly. And there's not a lot of people that have that. That's me. There's a lot of people that change who they are depending upon what people want from them. And that's that's me. Yeah, that's important, man. And most people struggle their whole life to find out who they are. Struggle their whole their whole life to find out what defines them, what they actually enjoy, and what they don't. You start putting yourself in situations that suck. You'll find yourself. Yeah. You'll find it real quick. That is the thing, right? And that's one of the things that I've I've gotten from paying attention to you is that. You, you, what you're preaching, what you're talking about is finding yourself through struggle. That's it. It's the only way to find yourself. You don't find yourself, if you like bench pressing and you bench press all the fucking time, what are you finding out? If you like to swim, that's all you want to do is swim. 
what are you finding out? Put that, you know, people always, uh, uh, people talk about triple down on your fucking strengths. Right. That's the fucking weakest shit in the world. No, triple down on your fucking weaknesses. Yeah. Find out something about yourself. You already know the, the good shit. You already know the happy shit. Right. That's why on my, on my Facebook page, everybody goes, why don't you talk about good times? You know how to get through that shit, motherfucker. <laughs> You don't need a fucking you. Don't, you don't need no one to tell you how to get through. It's happy. Right. That's easy shit. Right. I'm. I'm gonna tell you how you can help yourself get through the times that suck. Real life. This is real life. Ninety percent of your life will suck. Ten percent will be fucking happy. You may be lucky guy and have a lot of fucking money, have a great ass woman, all this shit. Trust me. One on one with that fucking guy, he's missing something. His life still sucks because he hasn't faced something that bothered him his whole fucking life. Something is still eating that motherfucker up. Almost everybody. Everybody. Eating you the fuck up. But maybe you found a good way, how I did growing up, on how to ignore that voice that's saying, you ain't facing some shit. Period, man. I'm not special. I just stopped listening. I, I, I listened to that voice. This is why I talk so fucking aggressive. People say, man, do you believe in God? You cuss so much. When I say fuck, it's, to, it's, it's letting you know what I'm thinking. If I try to make it all pretty and shit, that's not what my life was. It was a violent, violent struggle daily to get where I'm at today. I'm not gonna water it down. I'm not gonna water it down. This shit wasn't fun. It ain't fun today. But I'm happy. Don't you think that your happiness is probably elevated by the amount of pain that you've gone through a hundred percent so the amount of suffering that you understand the amount of pain that you've gone through makes you appreciate the happiness and the, the beautiful moments with much more intensity that's what weak people miss about my story weak people hear this soft kid oh my god he must be miserable oh my god what the hell's wrong with him you're missing the fucking story you're not listening to the story man look what i overcame if that doesn't put some badge of honor tattooed in your fucking brain for the rest of your life, you can die today talking to Joe Rogan. You're missing the story, man. Am I happy? What the fuck do you think? Don't, mis don't misunderstand the passion in which I speak for not being intensely happy. Happiest person in the world. But I'm not done. So I'm not going to speak to you like, oh, man, everything is great. No, I have a lot more shit to do. A lot more shit to do. What this is in the same use of the word that you used the warriors mentality the warriors life, right? This is this is the way that you can keep balanced and sane, right and and keep a Good grip on who you are period 